Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to discuss is the Edison Model O reproducer, the Model S and R reproducer, and the C and H. Here's the difference. This diaphragm here goes in a model C or an H. Which is what? Which is these right here. And this goes into a model O. Which is? This reproducer, which has a two four minute changer like this. And this is a much bigger diaphragm, which gives you a lot more sound on your machine. So Edison, in their wisdom, they came up with a model S and R reproducer which looks like this. And it fits into a standard carriage on any Edison from a gem all the way up to a Triumph. If you have the H or C, you have this little hole. So what happens is that Edison in his wonderfulness, he casts these, the O and the R and the S reproducer top housings in the horrible pot metal. And you can see how this one's cracking and breaking apart. And they all have these three holes because this casting fits on here. So on this one, everything was there for the reproducer, but they had broken the top off. So what I did was I machined a new top out of brass because these reproducers here, the C and the H, are in brass and nickel plated. And then I will come around and I will super glue this in place and then I will pin this. The other little nuance of these things is, is that this is pop metal, and it swells up like you've been on a cruise ship. I've discussed that before. And this piece is brass, and they put those two together. And what happens is the pop metal swells up into the brass ring. This is the spacer part that fits in there like that. And then you have your reproducer. So what do you do? If you have these two stuck together and you don't want to break it apart, but you want to save the reproducer. You take a little grindy, grinder on a Dremel and you come in and you grind just up to here. So on this broken one, you can see it, this is broken. I'll, prob I'll slit it here and that'll bring them apart. Can you, you throw that away? No. Everything is savable on a phonograph. That's what I'm trying to talk about tonight. Everything's savable on a phonograph. I save this R by making a new piece. And what's cool about the R's and the S's is that there are two four minute. You can switch this over to two, or you can switch this over to four. Just like the K, everybody wants the K, the two four minute K. Here's a two four minute K, and you can just switch this around. But Edison built one with a Model O diaphragm. What you can do if you have, have these, you can change this weight out. Say you have a C, you can put the C weight and the C sapphire in there and play two minute with this. If you had a two minute machine, like a two minute Edison, you could play two minutes with one of these reproducers by changing the weight. I'm just discussing this and showing you that everything is savable or rebuildable, and Mocha's really wants to help me tonight. And I love this hobby, and that's my tip for the day. But it's the weekend, and I'm going to have my glass of wine.